Okay, here's my latest buy from eBay. Magic the Gathering collection from the mid to late 1990s. Very large collection. They did not give us too much to go on here. Just two pictures. Uh, a couple of binders uh, laid out with uh, some older cards. Uh, Tempest era, Exodus era. Uh, I love this time period. Um, this is basically when I started playing back in about Stronghold, Tempest. So I do like cards from that time. A um, couple of uh, clear case boxes here and some random stuff. There's a fourth edition uh, player's rule guide there. Um, looking close, there are a couple of standouts. I think this is Oath of Mages uh, from Exodus, which is a rare. And uh, Urtai's Meddling, which is a rare, which not big rares, but they are rares, um, you know, distributed through, hopefully, this whole binder. Um, the big standout here would be this Spike Weaver. Um, that's not the Exodus version. It's um, a different version, which I will look up later. I can't remember. Um, so we're going to take a look at this. Uh, this is really all they showed you other than this. They closed the binders um, and put some cryptic in information on here. Magic cards I can read. Spec and... Gonkins? I am very confused by what this says. Maybe when I get it out, I'll be able to read it a little better. I don't know what that word means. Um, but you know what? That's how it goes. Um, paid 260 and shipping about 20 bucks, so 280 bucks for this uh, gamble. It's always a gamble as usual. Um, they did not give you very much information to go on. Uh, just a uh, last little bit here is that we want to look at the seller always and see. What their whole deal is does this guy sell magic cards all the time i wouldn't buy from him if he did right so i'm going to look at their other items here there's currently nothing their sold listings this is it this is the only thing they have sold in the last you know few months at least um what we would do then next is look at their um feedback which right now we got an error some kind of error going on with ebay right now uh, when I had looked before, I didn't see any indication that they sell magic at all, ever. So, that's what I'm going off of. Um, this is something that looks like they found in a barn, potentially. I mean, it's sitting on the, on the hood of a Ford. Like a Galaxy or something, right? So, you can see some, some bay doors from like a storage unit back there. So, this may be legitimately a storage find auction almost like 99.9% .9 of all the other ones you're going to see on eBay are going to be a bunch of crap uh, that people are just making up. Oh, I found it in a storage auction. Yeah, right. This one may actually be legit. I'm going to find out. Let's open the box and see what we got here. Here we go now with this box from Peach Tree City, Georgia. Um, they said it was 10 pounds. This on the scale says it's more like 22 pounds. Um, not sure if there's going to really be anything extra that has happened before as you've seen on this channel. Um, I think it's just probably the, they misunderestimated the uh, weight of the binders probably in a few boxes. But I'm always hopeful to get some extras. It has happened. Uh, let's see what we got here. Kind of made their own box here. Yeah, it looks like that's what was in the listing here hopefully that address is old um, yeah a nice like a recipe box cool check that out here there's one plastic case hopefully the other one is in here I don't see it hmm maybe they forgot to send it I don't know but here is a Pretty good thick binder. There's another little pack of cards. And one more big binder. Alright. Um, okay. Yeah, these are these are thick, man. These are stuffed with cards. Who knows what's gonna be in there? I am curious. Let's see if we can read this. Magic card spec and booking. Is that what that is? I don't know what that means. It's from John. Um, I'm really confused if that even had anything to do with magic or what, but 
let's just take a look here at the front page and see if we got anything decent. Well, wow, there's some some decent stuff right there. Um, got to reanimate from right on the top. So again, I know it's not Tempest. I guess is that uh, anthologies. I'll look it up and know what I'm talking about. Minion of Leshrac is a rare. Carrion is a rare. Um, I believe it's actually a reserve list. Um, so we got some, man, they're jammed in here. But as usual with binders, I'm going to have to kind of um, excavate through this stuff. Um, and hoping, hoping for some really big standouts from this time period. Um, I know there's great stuff from Exodus in the rares and uncommon slots. So Bounty Hunter, that's a reserve list rare. Um, great so hopefully we'll be full of value enough to at least equal uh, 280 bucks and then some um, stick with me I'll be back to do this properly it always takes quite a long time to actually make this process happen but I love it so I keep doing it and I hope you do too be back, be back soon Okay, checking back through the box again, I found that uh, the second plastic card case that was in the pictures is actually missing, and I found the reason why. Here in the box, in the shipping, see it? That box punched through the side of the box and actually is now gone. So I'm short a little bit on my purchase. And I may have to take that up with the mail. I don't know. It was not packed very well by the sender. It happened. So uh, anyway, we're going to continue on. And I'm going to start uh, going through this other plastic case and see if it was all a bunch of junk. Maybe I wasn't missing much out of that other one anyway. And I'll, maybe all the good stuff's in the binders, hopefully. Let's check that now. All right, let's get into this thing and see what we got here. So, oh, there's a snap. Okay. Let's see. We'll put this stuff here. Snap's okay. Uh, and as usual, anything under 90 cents is going to come off the list. Counterspell. Okay. That's a buck. Let's see. Let's make my little... That's a bulk pile. There's a dollar. There we go. So, okay, so this is a this is a battle royale box, rare catastrophe, reprinted from there's uh, a saga and actually five bucks. So that's cool. Definitely played. So still a uh, decent pick out of this box. So Heartstone from Stronghold. Yeah, a little bit more. Three bucks there. Great, I'll put it there. Oh, there's a balance. And it's a revised version. 295, great. Convalescence. Exodus. That is a bulk. And we got a veteran bodyguard from Revised, which is a rare. It's not the unlimited version, of course. Can go ahead and switch that. Revised. It's actually more than a buck now. Okay, well, not bad out of this little first um, acrylic box, which kind of makes me a little bummed that I lost the other one, but it wasn't that huge. It looked like it was going to be, there was a green card on the top of that. Who knows what would have been there, green and red, I guess, based on this. Um, I don't know. We'll see how the rest of this stuff goes how I feel about that um, but decent little start 10% of the way
Grindstone might be acceptable. I think it is a rare, and it's eight ninety nine. So yeah, that one's got some big issues. Heavy play for sure. I'm gonna pull it, and we're gonna count it. Everything's gonna get downgraded at the end. Don't worry. Let's see here. Got an Exodus strategy guide for a pre-con deck. There's a uh, what's this guy? Gerard, right? And Krovax, sure. Cool. Got a little story here. Story time. The White Heat Advanced Deck List. Cool. All right. Well, we don't need that really. Hey, we need that though. Oh, cool. Hey, and this one's actually not affected by whatever was going on with these other ones. Yeah, it's got a little bend to it, just slight. So, yeah, this one's not bad. Excellent. Chronicles of Blood Man. 1985. Excellent. Well, there's our first hit. And, uh,. Good, good. Glad to see there's stuff like that in this box. More basics. Propaganda. That's okay. Yeah, that's very okay. Nine bucks for an uncommon. Yeah, definitely played. This is mine. Great. From 5th edition. Not perfect, but I have it now. Hey, Thran Turbine. These have just jumped up in price a bit. Uh, a bit recently. Yeah, five bucks for that. Cool. That's a pull. Treetop Village is alright, too. There's a buck there. Great. See, there's always... well. A lot of times there's pickable stuff, right? A wild worm from Tempest. Just an uncommon. Whoa! City of Brass! And a Carpluzen Forest. Hey, these are nice. Yeah, those are in good condition too. City of Brass from 5th edition. That's a winner. And a Carpluzen Forest. Also, very nice. Cool! Uh, so this is not just basic lands, there's some non-basic lands here too. Dwarven Hold, eh? 94 cents, it is a rare. Wizard School is not bad river. Whoa! Phyrexian Tower! Okay, we're getting somewhere here. Couple bucks on that. The tower... There we go, 23 bucks on a Phyrexian Tower. Yep, it's got some play to it. Uh, but there's another good pick. Chronicles Mines. Um, and, oh, a Strip Mine. We really are doing okay here. And so is that, I guess, a fourth edition? Strip mine. Yeah, great. Alright, get a little collection going of some decent stuff there. Another treetop village. Fifth edition power plant. Great, great. Brushland, just here in Forest. Brushland's good. Uh, fifth edition. Yeah, f five bucks. It's actually not sixth edition. 
Hey, there's a nice full art forest from Unhinged. Unglued, I always get it wrong. Oh well, now I got it at least. Throne of Bones, Slippery Car says nothing. Oh my god! What? Okay, well that's a non-basic land if I've ever seen one. What? Oh, you're ki Dude, this is in good condition. No binder bend on this one because it wasn't in a binder. A little bit of white nick there. Unbelievable. A Gaia's Cradle. In the land box. Well, sure. Put all your lands in the land box. Unbelievable. Okay, scan it up. <laughs> oh my god. 360. Minus condition, of course, I'm sure. It's got it's got some little smudges on it, so it's let's just throw it in the garbage, right? It's not worth anything. Unbelievable. Well, that's my probably one of my biggest hits I've had in a long time. Let's uh make some room. Yeah. Oh, okay, well that's the land box. Can't do I don't think you can do any better than that with land. Vec Township. So you can get a wasteland. Yes. Okay. Well, there we are, I got my money back. And then some. And then some more. Seriously. This, look, this township is all messed up. But the cradle's in good condition. Ugh. I don't even think, is that even worth a buck? No. It's nothing. Okay. There we go. I'm loving it. Wow. Oh, I can't even believe it. I'm going to have to get sleep. I need to sleep for this. That's why I do this. Ah, I don't even know what to say right now. Okay. I don't want to nick it, picking it back up. So, whatever that bit there is, I wonder if it'll come off. No, it's definitely like a little nick on it, so I'm not going to make it worse. Um, SP? Right? It's not perfect. But SP, uh, I think, is going to pass. So, whoo! Love it. Um, there's more in this land box. God, what else could there be? Some swamps. It's so weird, like, all these ones with the stickers, I can feel them when I'm... This better not have a sticker on it. Okay, good. Whew. Tower and a reflecting pool. Bing. Fifth edition. Ooh, get some more non basics here. Yeah, reflecting pool, $15.99. Um, this one is uh, definitely played a bit, so it's alright. We'll put it there. Needle, the dark our wastes. And another mine. Decent, very decent. City of Brass, that's a Chronicles version. Um, yeah, got the, uh, the Arabian Nights symbol, but it's the white border, so that is not going to be the real deal, like it thinks. Uh, that would be great, but it is Chronicles City of Brass, 11 bucks. Um, played, it's okay. The lowland. Oh, two ancient tombs. 
Little lands is nothing. Ancient tomb is something. Yeah, 2754. Two of those. And these are nice. Yeah. They're not pack fresh. Uh, just some little nicks and stuff on them there. So uh, I'll take two of those as well. Wow. Dwarven ruins and another Thrans Turban. Great. And that's it for the land box. This one went here. Hey, that's great. Good land box right there. Um, I'm going to pull some of that value out at some point. Uh, we're definitely well over what we paid for the lot. Big time stuff right there. That's awesome. Well, now I can't wait to get into the rest of these. What's actually in the binders? And it, oh my gosh, again with the numbers. What is the deal? All right, so what was this? A howl from beyond. I am so puzzled with the numbers. Reconnaissance, does it have a number on it? Okay, good, because it's actually a good card. Yeah, nine bucks there. I just love picking cards, if you can't tell. Alluren, oh my gosh. And this is why, because just in the middle of all these commons is a, a, a rare that's actually worth quite a bit. 21 bucks on the Alluren, great. Or is it Alluren? I say Alluren. Tell me what you think down below. Yeah, all this stuff is played. Whoever had this originally, they... Very much like me, you know, I got into magic at this time. I didn't put stickers on the back of my cards, but... I did uh, actually play with them and they got all nicked up, so. And an unglued swamp. Yeah, this one's in decent shape. Great. Hey, another reconnaissance, great. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> like, I'm just so puzzled. Who does this? Can't, I don't know, I'd have to like really work at that to peel it off to even call it, you know, light play, medium play, if there's something on it. Frustrating. Well, I'll put that over here and maybe do a special pile of cards that have stickers on them. For what reason, I cannot figure out. Let's see here. Of course, we're frozen. There we go. We didn't miss anything. All right, my Marble Titan was five bucks. It's stuck there now. Acidic Sliver, oh, Crystalline Sliver too. So I'll pull that one, but a Crystalline Sliver is, this is a great card. All your Slivers basically have Shroud. Um, get one of those out in your Slivers deck and you're pretty well locked in.
turnabout is that an okay card it is and it doesn't have a sticker amazing oh an intruder alarm cool so that's nothing intruder alarm definitely been picked out of some off the table a few times wow that's gone way up 17.99 for intruder alarm uh, it's definitely like moderate play but there it is Another counter spell. Let me see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is that all about? Yep, this one has it too. Okay, I'm back again to start going through these binders. The spec and booking binder can you see that it's like slightly crossed off i do not understand what spec and booking is but there it is and this is the one we sneak peek before so i'm gonna kind of move it over there and pull these out one at a time And then this reanimate uh, is in perfectly good condition. That's great. Um, so the the binder took the brunt of whatever problems it had. Um, some of them might end up being a little bendy. Who knows? We'll take a look. Now, if Bounty Hunter is a rare, it's a reserve list card, in fact. Um, so, a couple bucks there. Hey, Yogmoth's Bargain. This, uh, I'm going to say that card is probably banned in some formats, because otherwise it would just be totally broken, right? Comment down below if I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, it's still worth a little bit. Living Death. Let me check. Yeah, it's a little bit there. Set aside all creature cards in all graveyards, then put each creature that is in play into its owner's graveyard, then put each creature's card set aside in this way into play under its owner's control. Right. It's like a global corpse dance, right? Cool. Um, put it there. All right, Yawgmoth's Bargain again. That was like eight bucks, so there's another one of those.
Predatory Night Stalker. Wow. Actually, a portal uncommon that's worth a bit. When Predatory Night Stalker comes into play from your hand, you may force your opponent to destroy any one of his or her creatures. Sure, it's like a... It's kind of costs a lot. Well, had a little sticky on the back. It's really not too bad. Uh, I'm going to pull it. Version. Oh, a Grave Pack, though. Okay, finally. It's a decent rare. No sticker. It's in good condition, too. Yeah, there we go. This goes with my reanimate right here. Cool. Coastal Wizard. 445. Got a rare portal card, finally. On your turn, before you attack, you may tap Coastal Wizard to return it and any one other creature to their owner's hands. Hmm. Costs kind of a lot for that effect, but that's what it says. Seven fifty for the wall of kelp. This one's beat up and it's got some stuff on it, of course. And then back to the basics. Back to basics with twenty-seven. There's a propaganda though. But being, I forget, is in there, I think. The Chicken Holla King is two bucks. That's great. Well, let's look at it at least here. For one and two blue, whenever a six is rolled on a six-sided die, put a one-one counter on each chicken in play. You can tap a chicken you control to roll a six-sided die. Uh, as, I, when they, as long as they keep printing chickens, that's going to be that one's going to be desirable. Somnophore, the rare there. Lord of Atlantis. Okay, we got a decent rare here. That is a fifth edition, actually. All right, solid memory lapse, frantic search. So even though some of them were bulk, that was a nice little batch of rares there. Concentrated a little bit more like I was expecting to see them. So it's all right. The guy just really liked to put commons and uncommons in binders. What can I say? He was just really trying to collect some of everything. Intuition! Hey, this is a good card. 
Uh, yeah, for it's an instant for two in blue. Search your library for any three cards and reveal them to target opponent. He or she chooses one. Put the card into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Shuffle your library afterwards. Let's see. I think it's worth quite a bit. Yeah, fifty-nine ninety-five. Hey, good. There's a hit. Uh, so they're still in here. Just a lot of a lot of comms and uncommons that the guy I think was just trying to build a big collection. And uh, well, and these these number three stickers are on everything. Just so weird. Intruder alarm. Okay, good. This one was quite a bit. It spiked recently, so there's another hit. Capsize. Bing. Okay. An actual foil. I haven't seen very many of these. I think just one other in this collection. And I think it's just an uncommon. Energy Flux, Mercadian Mass, Foil, seven bucks, so decent for a foil right there. I'm gonna call that a hit. Uh, Soothsaying should be a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Counter Spells, okay, fine, there's a little stash right there. Fourth Edition, Revised, it's gonna count it the same, so I'm just gonna kinda leave it as is. The starter version. We'll just count it as the sixth. We'll say it's that. And then there's a Tempest one, which I think we'd already found. So, a little stash of counter spells there. Okay, and then some spell blasts. Phantom Wings. Great Whale. Oh, actually a decent card, a rare from Urza Saga, and it's not in the best condition. But it's an okay card. It's a reserve list, actually. Wing Sliver, I think, was under. Mnemonic Sliver, I already forget, was. Yep. I'm going to pull it as a sliver. Energy Field from Urza Saga. Prevent all damage dealt to you from sources you do not control. When a card is put into your graveyard, sacrifice energy field. Hmm. I don't know if that one's really big. Ah, eight bucks. Not bad. We'll take it. Hey, another intruder alarm. Okay. Still some okay stuff here. Righteous Fury, you destroy all tap creatures and then you gain life. Hmm. Four ninety nine for a portal rare. All right. Wrath of God, though, destroy all creatures. 
from sixth edition. Yep, seven bucks. Okay. Marble Titan again was a little bit more than you would think, so I think it went right here. Aura of Silence, it's an uncommon, but it's a good one. More of the same. Oh, Enlightened Tutor. Well, yeah, that's good condition. Wow, it's really gone up that much. Wow, hold on a second. The low price, the trade-in. Wow, this has gone up a lot. Enlightened Tutor, $29.99 now. That's interesting. Well, there you go. Okay, we are now into the second binder, and this is the green cards. Ragnoth, I think, might be a rare. Nope, uncommon. Even if it's the time shifted. Hey, Miri's Guile. Hey, that's actually a good card. Great. Uh, for one green, it's an enchantment. During your upkeep, you may look at the top three cards of your library and put them back in any order. That's pretty broken. I, don't, I wonder if it's uh, restricted in some of the older formats. Because, yeah, 26 bucks for that card. It's probably worth every penny if you can use it. Worldly Tutor, hey, a couple of them. Great, so there's a Mirage one and a sixth edition, cool. 17, these are definitely going up. Let's put my really good pile right there. And a sixth edition Worldly Tutor. Wow, great. 
So I thought Worldly Tutor had been about 10 bucks for a long time, so these are going up. The number four or whatever. Gosh, okay, so here's that Spike Weaver that we saw in the listing. It's the Battle Royale version. And it's nine bucks, so that's a winner right there too. Not. Allurin, hey, we already found one of these. Another one, that's great. Um, definitely some play to it, sure. But being, it was uh, quite a bit. I think. Yeah, it was like 20 some bucks. Great. Put it in the good pile. Great, awesome. There's more. Hey, a defense of the heart. Another good card there. 18. Okay, and another Priest of Titania. I think we found one of those before. And those are pretty decent. Constant Mist. So that's an uncommon. Um, but it's a good one from Stronghold. This one's in really good condition compared to some of this other stuff we've been finding. So eight bucks there. Cool, great, awesome. Hermit Druid. It's a rare from Stronghold. It's a keeper. Hawk Eater Moth. So Carpet of Flowers. This is the one I was thinking of. It looks similar to Guy's Bounty, but this one actually is worth quite a bit more. Yeah, 12 bucks for an uncommon. Great. Over a buck. Oh, Earthcraft, great. There's a reserve list. It's a big card, actually. For one and a green, it's an enchantment. Tap an untapped creature you control, untap target, basic, basic land, wow. Yeah, oh, this one's in good shape, too. Look at that, that's near mint. It's so weird, like a lot of this stuff is really played. Um, I, the average grade here is you know, SPMP, honestly. This one is really good. And at 55 bucks, that's a winner. Awesome. All right, there's still half of this binder left. <clears throat> okay, we are on into red now. Goblin medics. Creature goblin medics. I'm going to set this aside for another YouTuber, MTG Unpacked. You'll be getting some of this stuff, I think. Go check out his channel if you don't already. He is great to watch open packs. And uh, play around with Fungo Pops. Fun stuff. And he's a big Goblin fan, so I'll probably save some of these for him. There you go, Unpacked. Coming your way. Shard Phoenix is actually a rare. And it's not a great one at that, so.
All right, no quarter and apocalypse. Yeah, I thought that might be a little better. Five bucks for apocalypse. Great. In a brimstone dragon. Whoa, 884. That's portal. Six and two red for a 6 6 flyer. Brimstone dragon is unaffected by summoning sickness. Hmm. Well, someone must like it. Um, it's in pretty decent condition. There it goes. Trained org. I don't even need to look. Mons Goblin Raiders, technically a rare. Winds of Change. Each player counts the cards in his or her hand, shuffles the cards into his or her deck, and then draws that many cards. Sounds good. Yeah, okay, I remember this, the 5th edition version of that being a little bit. Wow, the Portal version. 1595. I remember this card. The other art. I remember the Weather Vane. Uh, I don't remember it being that much. So that's a good one. Send that one. Ah, uh, stuck to the back of that was a gamble. So it was right behind the detonate. Luckily there's not a, yeah, there's a little bit on the front there, but it's really not too bad. Um, might be four or five bucks. That's come back up. Eight ninety-nine. Goblin bombardment. Four fifty. Okay, cool. Lightning bolt. Doesn't look like we're gonna get any more of those then. A couple bucks there. Flame Wave, I always think this is a rare, but it's actually an uncommon. Goblin Matron from Urza Saga. There's a buck there. Hey, Goblin Lackey. And again, okay, that's weird. This is a, it's in good shape. And this is one of the better cards that you'd want to pull out of there. So great, 12 bucks on the Lackey. Okay, back for more. I think I can get through the last of this binder. Uh, looks like multicolored cards. There's a crystalline sliver. I'm going to try to not look at this too close while it fully sap out. I'm in Breast Dealer's Crypt. Now that's a rare. This one's not in the best condition, but there it is. Crystalline Sliver, even less good condition. Yeah, this is like pretty heavy play. It's got a little wave to it. Um, I think, guess we had found one before. It goes there. Grim Feast is a rare, I do know that. A couple bucks, too. Chronicles. Frenetic of Freed, another one. It's more than you would think it would be, right? Sky Spirit. Hibernation Sliver. Guess we'd found that one before a little bit. Sliver Queen! Oh, yeah! Okay. Okay, it's got some play to it. Unbelievable. There's a lot of slivers in here. And there's the queen. Yes. Can you see it? Will you scan it? Yes. Oh, this thing has gone up big time just in the last couple weeks, I think. Modern Horizons. Slivers are back. Oh my gosh. You got to have the reserve list sliver queen for your slivers deck. That is so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get a sleeve for that. Um, let's see here. Um, 
Probably moderate play, if I'm being honest. Yep, so. You know what? I'll take it. I will take it. So, I actually already have a couple of these. I think I pulled one out of a pack when I was a young lad. And I actually played Slivers when I played during Stronghold. So, I'll always take another one. Awesome. Grindstone. Yeah, see we okay, this one's not great either, but I think the other one we found was even worse, so put it there. Oh, a mana vault. Awesome. Fifth edition. That's in good condition. But being it says fourth. Let's switch it to fifth. Twenty-six bucks. Another nice pull right there. Sure, we'll put a sleeve on it. Cool. Hey, a lotus petal. Um. All right, the artifacts are turning out to be good right here. Excellent. Eight bucks. Tin viper. Horrible hordes. I don't think that's really much. <clears throat> hey, an ensnaring bridge. Oh, okay. I'm liking the liking the uh, artifacts here. Wow, that's just SP. Fifty nine. Wow, those have, have hovered around forty forty five for a long time. Um, so they're going up again. I'm guessing because it didn't get printed into Modern Horizons. Well, it's it was already in Modern. Oh, here's a Cursed Scroll, too. Excellent. Oh, we are cruising now. Throwing a bone. Lead Golem, is that a rare? It's not. Wind Sphere. Oh, another Mana Vault? There's the 4th edition. Mirror, Mirror. Mirror, Mirror. Unglued, rare. 99 cents. Another Mana Vault, and in good condition, too. Sweet! Look at this. Wow, okay, great. Well, um... I think this justifies my purchase, I would have to say at this point. Okay, next page. A static orb I think is an okay card. Players cannot untap more than two permanents during their untap phases. Oh, that's not fun. Cost three. Help. Whoa! That's more than I was expecting. 20 bucks. Great. And an altar. Ashton's altar should be a little bit. Yeah. Five bucks there. Great. Emerald Medallion. That's a good card. These medallions have been going up quite a bit. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, it's stuck. So, a couple little stickies on the back of it. I don't think it ruins it, but... Otherwise, three bucks. No, Spatula of the Ages. It's fun. Whoa, a scroll rack! Oh, cool. Yeah, this one I think has been going up in price as well. It's, wow, oh my gosh, it's up there now. Um, yep, got a little play to it. But it's acceptable. Wow, this is quite a artifact section here. Some powerful artifacts back in the day. Ruby Medallion, I think. Yeah, that's come up a bit. I think the Sapphire Medallion is worth quite a bit. Spears. Hey, a Winter Orb. Fifth edition Winter Orb. 
cool. Yeah, and those are going up too. MSC Tome. It's a rare. There's a ton of rares. Even if they're they're not all amazing, but there are some amazing ones. So maybe this guy didn't understand artifacts and he just put them all away. I don't know. He didn't really play with them, looks like. There's a sphere of resistance, that's good. I think so. Thran Dynamo, those are good. Yep, seven bucks there. Erratic Portal, I think might be okay. Yeah, four bucks. Battering Ram and a Sphere of Resistance. Another good one. And, yep, it's played. But it's $20 card. Skeleton, wow. This is it's quite a row right there. That's great. Yeah. Okay, Karn Silver Golem. This one's okay. It's not stuck to the other one. Another reserve list card. Helm of Possession. It's a rare and it's four bucks. Okay, great. Hey, a Lotus Blossom. Pit Traps. Lotus Blossom from Urza Saga. That's decent. Just a buck though, eh? Smokestack. That one's actually better. Seven bucks. During your upkeep, you may put a soot counter on smokestack. During your each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a permanent for each soot counter on smokestack. Oh, that must be a big commander fun to play with card. Mishra's Helix. So we got some Urza's rares here. A buck. Powder keg. Five bucks there. Okay, great. Right now, and another Winter Orb, the fourth edition one this time. Cool. Oop, 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 Clockwork Beast. Another Lotus Petal. Great. Put that one there. Sure. Belby's Portal. That's a little bit. Yeah, almost five bucks there. All right, last page, Millstone, a rare. We've got some great artifacts here, Worry Beads. A lot more rares in these artifacts than were in a lot of the other colors that we went through. The Rack, a couple bucks there. Crystal Rod, Flying Carpet, I don't think so. Mannequin. The Brass Man. Oop, flip, flip. Phyrexian Grimoire. It's a rare. The Jalem Tone. There's a rare. No way! Oh! Dude, we have found some great stuff in here. This is unbelievable. Yep, it's got some play to it. A Mox Diamond. Got like a, I don't know if that's something on it. Yeah, it's like a little bit of a... Oh, can I repair that? I know you guys are like, what are you doing? Well, I'm taking off that little spot, whatever that was. And I don't, it doesn't seem any of the worse for wear. This... Uh, you tell me, is that SP or MP? It's, uh, it's probably got enough wear that it's going to be right in the decision zone. I might have to run this by the the guys at Cardsphere, the uh, the conditioned Discord, and see what they say. Oh my God, that's awesome! Well, uh, this one's going right in my collection. Uh, I already have a couple of these. What's one more? Unbelievable. This uh, has been great. Uh, I guess I better scan it. Um, Mox Diamond. 
Ba bing, ba bing. I only got one. I better take that back off of there. 250. Right on the top. And <laughs> that was right at the end. We got a toy maker, a sand golem, a coiled tin vape viper, and an assembly hall, which uh, will be nothing. There you have it. Unbelievable. All right, I'm going to pull everything off that's under 90 cents, and I'll be back to lay out um, some pretty good stuff here. Be right back. All right, everyone, this is it. The end. The spoils of this buy are right here. Had some great hits uh, through this. It was quite a gamble um, based on the original pictures. Almost nothing was shown. Uh, I had a feeling. I love cards from this time period, and this is why. Because there are so many big cards that could possibly come from a set like this. I did not expect to find um, the big hitters here, like this guy's Cradle, this Mox Diamond, and this Sliver Queen, which right here you can see are the big winners from this set. Um, all told, out of 246 cards that are over 90 cents, came away with 23.15 on an original investment gamble of 280 bucks. Um, condition wise uh, not everything is great um, some of these bigger ones are actually in better condition than a lot of the the commons and uncommons that had number stickers on the back and a lot of heavy play so um, a lot of this stuff here is still very usable slight play moderate play even so like a few near mint cards here so I'm very happy with it uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. It's going to take me forever to edit this all together as usual. Um, so make sure that if you did like it, to uh, give me a like. And uh, check out my Patreon link down below if you're interested in helping to support the channel. And um, have a good one. <laughs> I know I'm going to. Thanks a lot.